Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do a weekly reading. So we're going to start with Aries. We're going to go down the list. Um, so Aries, you are up first. This is for July 22nd through the 28th, but keep in mind that the timing is fluid. Um, we're just going to see what comes up. This is a message from my guides to you. Okay? So it may be a little bit different than everybody else's message. Let's just see what comes up. This is for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. We're going to get one of these, one of these, and one of these. And then we're going to use this deck over here. We're going to start right here. What do we have for Aries? I'm not going to take that. There was more than one. So what do we have for Aries? door to spirit so you guys are going through a new door spirit is guiding you you may be a little conflicted about it it's a big change a new door is opening this door is opening uh, because it's like the universe is, is telling you it's time it's time to go through that door um, spirits are around you you are becoming enlightened you may be feeling it you may be feeling more spiritual you may be becoming more spiritual um, your spiritual gifts may be developing to a higher level. All right. So that door is opening. It is opening. Let's get one of these. What do we have for Aries? I'm trying not to let that thing jiggle, but it is. What do we have for Aries? Ooh, let your friends help you ask for and accept support from others and these could be friends from the other side seriously these could be spirits from the other side these could be ancestors that have passed away these could be friends in this lifetime whoever this is allow help a let people help you okay ask for and accept support from others Let's get one of these for Aries. What do you have for Aries for July 22nd to the 28th of 2019? What can they expect? Rejuvenating rain. Clear the past. Heal the present. We're going to read that one and we're going to do it right now. Physical and emotional healing is occurring. There is a cleansing and clearing of old emotional wounds and even a release of a past life limitation is happening. All is forgiven. Absolve yourself. Forgive others their transgressions against you. It's time to let it all go. In order for new growth to occur, the old must be cleared away. This card indicates a time of clearing out what doesn't serve and support you. It can also indicate clutter clearing. If you don't love it or use it, most likely it's clutter. Physical clutter can be indicative of emotional clutter. It's time to release it and allow the cleansing metaphoric energy of the rain to purify and cleanse you in the deepest way. So you are going through a, a clearing right now and you are receiving help. Okay. You are receiving help. And if you need help from people in this physical world, don't be afraid to ask for it. Or if you need help from the spirit world, don't be afraid to ask for it. Okay. Because there is help available, but you have to ask. You do have to ask. That is, that's the biggest point here. What do we have for Aries? Dear God, angels, spirits, and universe, what do we have for Aries? Well, first card, King of Wands, reverse, loss of focus, loss of drive, loss of concentration, giving up. You may not be feeling at your best at this time. 
um, things may be out of control. You may be clinging to control. So you gotta you gotta go with the flow. You gotta you have to allow. There could be some anger here. There could be some anger because things are you know it's out of your control. Not you can't control everything. So judgment, judgment, forgiveness. Forgiveness. This is a card of forgiveness and absolution. And, it, and this is a card of the past. Forgiving the past. This is a card of releasing the past. It absolutely makes perfect sense. It really does. These cards go together. Releasing the past. Forgiving the past. Accepting the past. Okay? Now, this is, a, this is like rising. Okay? This is rising. So rising you know from the ashes so eight of coins working hard putting an effort to go after wish fulfillment to be happy i think that you guys are really trying to be happy you're doing you know you're trying to release you're working hard to release you're working hard to forgive i think you've been a hard worker your whole life and i think maybe you have probably focused on the finer things right you've been focused on the finer things and you want to have it all and maybe maybe you have overindulged maybe you have overindulged maybe ego has been a problem this is a card of ego and this is a card of ego maybe it's a maybe it's time to release your ego maybe happiness isn't in the things maybe it's in you know friendship love whatever um, this is wanting to have it all. Everybody does. So, Nine of Swords, worried. Uh, there's regrets. There's, you know, these two right next to each other. We have somebody here that that um, is scared. They're regretful. They may be, they may feel guilty. There's there's fear of rejection perhaps there's fear of suffering there's fear of not having enough there's fear of what everybody else is going to think as well so there's definitely some anxiety here that needs to that needs to be released i feel i mean we always got to see what's mirroring each other so i feel like you guys are, are are feeling stressed you may be feeling depressed you probably you may have some regrets you may be feeling guilty about Maybe some misjudgment. You may have overindulged or made some poor choices based on ego. You know, maybe maybe you 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 worked and you worked and you worked and you know let something else that needed your attention fall short. You know what I mean? You put your work first. It's like you put your work before happiness right maybe you thought having those things was happiness i mean i don't know um we're gonna do it this way this time so you guys are are starting to see the light you're starting to come out of a dark period you are there is help somebody may be helping you could be somebody from the other side I feel as though you have made a decision to uh, release you've made it you've made a decision to make better judgment calls the decision has been made to choose more wisely I feel as though you know you guys have been thinking about leaving a situation maybe you're thinking about leaving a job or you're thinking about leaving home you're thinking about changing your circumstances you've been thinking about it for a while i feel as though you've been taking your time you may you be me maybe in a loveless situation that you have been holding on to because it pays well or there's money involved you know it could be a home life it could be whatever it is there's no emotional fulfillment there maybe there's um well there could be a third party situation but this is a relationship this is happiness and this is happiness so it feels as though you're really really wanting to be happy again it's like you're you're really probably working hard to release something that this is release release something that has been emotionally unfulfilling for you in hopes you know of ha being having a happier life 
this is happiness this is this is uh, socializing this is having fun this is um, things are starting to get better I think things are starting to get get better I think things are starting to look up for you but there's still some sort of fear fear of being left behind fear of being rejected fear of being um, not accepted here and I feel like you need to let go of the control if people don't like you then that's just too bad it really is it's too bad don't don't let your ego you know don't let your pride get in the way not you're not gonna not everybody is gonna like you right not everybody is so I feel as though you guys are are wanting to leave a situation but you're not leaving it because maybe it pays well or there's money involved apparently somebody has decided to mow it's probably my father thinking he's helping whatever he happens to be at Aries anyhow um I don't know who it is, but I wouldn't doubt it for a second. Anyway, because he everything needs to look good. It needs to look good. And I left a patch. I left a patch in my lawn that is not mowed because the lawnmower died. And he's probably stewing over there. He's probably been stewing about it. You know, if that needs to be done, that needs to be done. It doesn't look good. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> So anyway, this is out socializing, having fun. You may be going out for drinks at the, during this time. Maybe you even maybe you have even overindulged drinking wise, and, and maybe it's caused illness. Maybe your drinking or alcohol or whatever has caused illness. That's not going to be for everybody, but there is some sort of illness here. There is. I feel as though this is giving up this is giving up a situation that is no longer emotionally fulfilling making better choices making better judgment calls so I feel as though some something is about to change for you okay seven of swords deception deceit betrayal looking back you may be looking back at things that you overindulged in you know you're probably looking back at what you spent your money on what you have invested in you're definitely looking back this is getting prepared getting prepared for an arrival something is arriving there could be a reunion there could be somebody coming that you have been waiting for you could be waiting for somebody and they could be arriving and it's gonna make you very happy this could be somebody that cheated you or somebody that lied to you I just gotta be honest I'm gonna tell you exactly what I see somebody could be watching you and somebody that left you behind or you left them behind they could be watching you they could be feeling guilty so Aries this this is going in a different route, route now and that happens a lot there's so many people watching this somebody may be feel, feeling guilty for betraying you for lying to you for cheating on you involving you in a third party situation so that could be the case for some of you could go vice versa this is something arriving this there's a change coming things have been turned upside down what goes around comes around um, somebody has made some poor 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 financial decisions and they regret it their life has been turned upside down um, they haven't they haven't made the right choices um, and now they're breaking free this is liberation this is the worst is over somebody has made a decision with the seven of cups to break free from a loveless situation the ace of cups there's no love here somebody has made a decision to stop holding on to stop playing games to break free from a loveless situation that was probably based on money okay it was based on things it was based on everything but love and it's like now there's some sort of celebration of life or there's some sort of celebration of 
freedom. It's like, I'm free. I'm free. This is no longer looking back, perhaps. You know, you're not looking back. This Maybe maybe the, the regrets are within yourself. You know, there's regrets for making the wrong choice, for making poor judgment calls, for making poor choices. I feel as though... You know, you've seen the light, you're coming out of this, this sadness, this darkness, and I feel like there's some sort of celebration coming up that you have been waiting for. Um, this is the death. This is the death. This is the end. It's the end. It's, it is the end. So, it's the end of one phase that is going to lead you into, you know, it's going to allow you to be happy again this is release and this is release so you guys are releasing something that you have been holding on to you are releasing something I think that you've been getting prepared to release it and I think that now your ship has arrived now it's time now it's time to actually get on board it's actually time to go after your happiness it's actually he's holding the ace of cups it's actually time to go after something more emotionally fulfilling I think you receive a, a vision or a big opportunity and you decide to get on board you decide to go for it um, Yeah, there's been some sort of betrayal here. There's been some sort of conflict. There's been a definite betrayal. I feel like you you are going to be experiencing a major change with these fives. I think it's, I really feel like it's the end. I think it's the end of, of hurt. It's the end of pain. It's the end of lies. It's the end of deception. It's the end of anxiety. It's the end of depression. It's the end of fear. It's the end of feeling guilty. It's the end. It's starting to see the light. It's coming out of this, this phase. Okay. It's over. It's over. Some so something emotionally fulfilling is coming that is going to make you happy. So I feel like, um, things are going to happen very fast okay I think that you are about to move in a new direction very very quickly um, you may receive messages from somebody could be somebody from the other side that urges you to go to release to live again so you guys are about to have a new beginning this is a brand new life it is it is so get prepared get prepared you are about to start a new life no more conflict no more lies, no more deception. It's time for you to be happy. I mean, that's what I see. Get prepared. Good luck.